Hello guys, it's Gameplays and welcome to a have a good video today. Today we have a more than requested video, which is a remake of the video How to Overclock Your Vega 56. Well, uh, the last video I made was like one year ago, or more, maybe more, I don't really remember, but maybe more, um, and it was using the Adrenaline 2019, and uh, in the end of 2019 we got Adrenaline 2020. And well, since I was also making tests, remaking the tests of Vega 56 because I'm remaking tests on PUBG and several other games like Red Dead Redemption 2 to make videos against, for example, the GTX 1660 Super, uh, the RX 5700 XT, amongst others. But well, I'm remaking tests, so why not remaking the overclock tutorial? So yeah, let's go. So well, like it is known, I will be using the AMD Watman, which is the, um, the overclocking software included on the AMD drivers. For that, just click on the right button of your mouse, on the desktop of course, and this will appear, AMD Radeon software. Open it, and the main page will be this, okay, your home, your home page, you'll have several things. But this is not what we want. If you want to know how to um, how to tune the MD Adrenaline 2020 drivers, just watch this video of how to Adrenaline 2020. For now, we are going to the Performance tab and to the Tuning. Okay, now we have this menu. We have the Global Tuning and you can select, for example, um, an overclocking just for one game. So you can, for example, underclock in one game and overclock in another, okay? But this will be Global Tuning for now. After this, you just have to select All to Manual, Manual, here. Now we have the GPU Tuning and VRAM Tuning unlocked and we are gonna put to Enable Enable. Same for the power tuning. Enable. Once again, advanced control. Enable. Advanced control. Enable. Okay. This is the first step to put all enabled. Okay, let's open the... Yep, a bit better. So, all enable is the first step. After that, let's go to the first and most important thing you need to do on every GPU that you are overclocking, the most important is the power tuning, the power limit, okay? Just go and select the power limit to the max. Just notice that this won't make your, your GPU uh, consume more power out of the box. No, that won't happen. What will happen is that your GPU will consume more power if it needs to, okay? It just won't consume more out of the box, it will consume if it needs to. Sometimes, sometimes mostly on the, the Vega architectures, the Vega cards uh, want to consume more, but they are restricted by the driver. So if you let the power limit go to the max, so 15% more, 50% more, sorry, um, the Vega cards will boost a lot higher and will out of the box, out of the box just with this, with this slider, will give you more performance, okay? This is the first step. Now, let's go to the frequency. So, you can tune the, the frequency, you can tune the frequency as you want, okay? But like in the previous video, um, the, um, the best one that I found is this one, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna just put here, just for now, for gaming, just select the state 7, okay? And we are gonna select, this is a voltage, okay? 10, 70 millivolts, so we are under volting because uh, the stock voltage is 1.2 volts, 1.2, and we are giving it more frequency and way less voltage. This settings I'm using, so here, 1662 megahertz, okay? These settings will work for almost any Vega 56 GPU, so yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, this is the best to do for now. You can go higher or lower, but every GPU is different, okay? Now let me just tell you a thing, Vega, Vega GPUs, Vega architecture GPUs are quite interesting because, for example, on Polaris cards, you just go here and select, for example, 1662, like it is, and the, the frequency of the core will be static. So it won't boost higher or lower, but that won't happen on Vega 56. 
In, a matter, in matter of fact, uh, the frequencies will be jumping, lowering and going higher and going lower um, depending on the load of the GPU. And if you use, for example, 1662 MHz with this voltage, the card will indeed boost to around 1600 and not 6062 MHz. So 1600 MHz, 62 megahertz less than what you select this because of the voltage the card the cards really how should i say it the cards are really funny in terms of tuning so yeah for example if you use the same frequency and go for a little bit higher voltage let's say 1080 uh the boost will be will be like 10 or 20 megahertz higher so it is um you must, you must do a mix of frequency and voltage to find the, the sweet spot between the power and the power consumption. So performance and power consumption. But well, once again, let's put my settings. This is it for now. So, um, 1662 MHz, 1070. This alone will reduce the power consumption because you are undervolting a lot from 1.2 to 1.007, sorry. Just be the the <laughs> um, 1.2 to 1.07 and with higher frequency, okay? The second step, or should I say the last step, because this is actually the third, but the last step is the VRAM. VRAM is also very, very important, okay? VRAM will, will make your CPU perform, your GPU, sorry, will make your GPU perform a lot faster. So, it is not about core frequency overall, but VRAM will also matter a lot. So, the base frequency is 800 MHz. Most of Vega 56 GPUs will do the 920 MHz. 920 MHz, so 120 MHz more. If you have a Vega 64, for example, um, your VRAM speeds, your VRAM frequencies will easily reach 1000, 1100 MHz. But Vega 56 without Samsung, without Samsung um, VRAM, so maybe Inix or Micron, will reach around 900 to 950. Mine can only reach 920 before, start before it starts artifacting, sorry. Like you know, my main language is not English and... And today I'm a bit tired, uh, but I'm doing my best to explain the things in the best way possible, okay? So if you don't understand anything, just go to the comment section and ask me, because I will answer as fast as I can. Uh, once again, 920, and for the frequency, we will select 1 volt, so 1000 millivolts. Again, this is not the voltage of the HBM2, the VRAM. This is not the HBM2 voltage. This is the memory controller voltage. The voltage of the HBM2 will be a bit higher, if I remember correct, correctly. If I remember correctly, like 1.5 volts, if I remember, yes. But this is the memory controller voltage. And the memory controller voltage will be the floor to the core voltage. So if you select, for example, here, 1100 megahertz, you may select on the core 1070 and in even that way the core voltage will be this 1100 because this controller this memory controller voltage will be the floor to the core voltage so if you select 1000 millivolts so one volt you can't go lower than one volt in the um, in the core voltage so yeah, I think I, I explained myself pretty decently here. By the way, if you just want to load my profile, if you want this overclocking profile, you can just go to the links in the description and it will be there available to download. So the links will be redirected to a site where you have to wait uh, 15 seconds, uh, maybe watch a video and some articles. But well, sorry for that, but that will, he will help you, not will help you, but will help me uh, win some sense um, so I think it's a fair trade since I'm helping you, you are helping me. So anyway, uh, to load that profile, you just have to go here, load profile. You can put the, um, you can put the, the XML file here in this folder and just select the profile and open. This is the, um, the tuned, the tuned profile that you'll be downloading. Okay. So once again, 
1 volt, 920, 1070, 1662, and with zero RPM enabled and the power consumption power limit 50%. Okay, once again, don't forget that the, um, the frequencies will be jumping a bit. If the GPU load is not at 100% or 98, 99, that means that you may have a CPU bottleneck or, for example, RAM bottleneck uh, because the, the GPU is too powerful for the CPU, okay? That in some games or depending on the resolution you play, for example. And well, I think there's not much more to say. If you have any doubts, go to the comment section, leave a comment in the comment section. I'll try to do my best to help you. Links are in the description to several driver versions to download my profile, my overclocking profile. So guys, one, once again, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget, hit like, subscribe and share the video because that really helps a lot. That really helps me and this channel, which is basically me all by myself. And well, sorry once again if I forgot something, but well, I'm a bit tired today and I did my best to explain it in the best way possible. So, any doubts? Comment section and I'll be there to help you. Thanks a lot guys and see you in the next video.